Tears down the rebound for ECU. 18-16, Tulsa by two. A zone defense, Tulsa again switching things up, 2-3 zone. Quick spin by Garner, stops on a dime and buries. Nice cut and a good find. The shot missed. Followed up by Gardner for the second time. It's an and one. Now, East Carolina trying to pull off the miracle of miracles. Gardner. Newton on the drive. Met by a double. Now picked up by Davis. Gardner working on Ray. Got the step, Jaden Gardner. See, so yeah, that's been changed. Four fouls against the big man, Luster. DeBow back in the game, the other seven-footer. For East Carolina, which led 2-0 and has not led since. Again, Gardner inside and again. Well, every time Isaiah Adams lets it go, it looks like it's going in. He just has a good he does. stroke, right? Yeah, he sure does. That's a corner by... Oh, man. Yeah, a little one 2, two three-quarter court trap by Tulsa, broken by the Pirates. Brandon Suggs on the floor for ECU, wearing number four. In it goes to Garner, hemmed in by three defenders, but it is. Now he can close it at the line. 76% free throw shooter, didn't hit that one. Coming down, Farrakhan with it. They've got to get a quick shot, Ty jumps it off. It'll go to uh, Gardner and Gardner. Once again, here we are. We're at 15 seconds on the shot clock, and ECU has just started their offensive possession. There's a push up. All the adversity that the Pirates have faced. Now, this is only one ball game, but a five-point lead. The way East Carolina is playing right now, building confidence through all these injuries, through everything going on. This is a team that's continued to work hard and continue to get better. No points in the last two and a half minutes for the Pirates. Trying to spring the upset and hand Houston their second loss of the season. Gardner. With 10 to shoot. Gardner has Adams Woods whistled for his first personal. Pirates have hit their last three from the floor. Robinson White, a little bit of a mismatch there. They switch out on him with Mamadou Diara. Diara doing a good job to stick with him. Newton. And See free throw go in and not have three guys fall into the lane before the release. That was entertaining. That was something different we saw there. USF now by 13. Garner tried to put the Pirates on his back, and that is a good start for ECU. A hard to go with that pass. Grimes from the outside. Misfires on the three, and Gardner... Tracks down the rebound. And even though Grimes hasn't scored, he can impact the game in so many different ways. Playing on the defensive end, setting the pace as well. All the way to the hole, Gardner. Bench is getting shorter for Joe Dooley, seemingly by the second here in the first half. Gardner on the perimeter. Working on Gore. A tough fall away is good. For the Julius, as you mentioned, leave guys leaving at different times, and here they are with a real shot to make a little noise right around this time of year. It's pretty impressive what John's done. Seven and three in their last ten, Cincinnati. Young players playing his up-tempo system have taken this season to a different gear. Maybe a good draw with an SMU team that hasn't played it over a month. We'll see. Gardner leaps inside. He's Gardner getting a lot of attention, and he loses the basketball. Newton with the steal. Numbers for the Pirates. And Jaden Gardner somehow gets it a go. Well, that's up. The back pick to get him wide open on the block. He's had a bit of a quiet year as the Northern Kentucky transfer this season, but flushed it home there. Gardner. Nice job to use the rim to also have to come back with just one timeout remaining for Joe Dooley. Madsen. Another miss from him. Robinson White. Suggs. Oh, tough catch by Tristan Newton. The head fake and then the finish. Make sure you convert. That was very, 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 very. 
Luster gets the rebound in traffic. Oh, and perfectionist. He wants to be so good at everything, and, and he told him, he goes, you know, I played in the NBA with a lot of guys who were perfectionists who wanted to be good all the time. But he said the one thing that never changed about the great players in the NBA, their confidence. And you got to be able to keep your confidence up. Yeah, I think it's, it is, you have to have such a, a short memory of a missed shot or a turnover and just literally remember next play because you, the more you hang on to your mistakes, you're going to be assumed to, re to repeat them. That's defense, probably switch a lot. We've seen this all game, Memphis picking up full court pressure. They've been quick to trap whenever the ball goes into the corner. This one, they're backing off a little bit. Into the post is Gardner. He's double teamed and... Six points, three rebounds, and Tulsa has a two-point road lead. And you see the passion. He's feeling it right now, and Tulsa has to continue to feed him the ball. He's got the height advantage down low. That hook shot is unstoppable. You see who dumps it into its star. This is Gardner on the turnaround, and it's a contest for Tulsa. Really a breakout week for him. But Tulsa trying to hang on. ECU down by three. Pirates haven't led since about six minutes left in the first half. A little spin by Garter. Dribble alive. Fade away is good over. And another rebound for the Pirates. Such a difference in energy. Perry just kind of begging for a call. Not much contact there. UCF's bench wanted it, but I think the ref did a good job with no call. Robinson White's been great in the second half, making plays. Newton with a solid entry pass and a little jump hook from Gordon. Guys wanting to come down to New Orleans yep. to play for him. And Ron Hunter, in his 30 years of coaching, told me last night, this is the youngest team he has ever had. So he knows there are, there are going to be some growing pains. He knows there will be some high watermarks like they saw with the game against Grambling State and knocking down almost every three-pointer they took in the first half. They're hanging around with ECU here. Gardner across the lane, drops him a little fadeaway off glass. Nice move by Jaden Gardner. Played in 26 days, would you? They're coming out here playing hard and, and hustling, and they look like they're in sync. A misfire there by Michael Christmas. Fitting last name, given the season that we're in. Gardner creates off the window. Eight early points for Gardner. First half of nine straight points. Out to the perimeter in Jackson. Gardner the offensive rebound and the putback. And that's all Gardner. 14 points against Dayton, as you mentioned. Had 20 the previous game against Houston Baptist, plus nine rebounds and three assists. He's playing some of the best basketball of his career early here in the season. Here's Gardner against Shagwan. The quick spin and a finish for the right. And the Pirates with no timeouts and a tie game bring it front court. Gardner on the baseline, the up and under to give the Pirates the lead. Beautiful. 